All right. Hey guys, this is Eagoraptor. I'm going to show you today how to use your three terabyte Seagate internal hard drive on an older motherboard. Uh, if you bought one of these, you might realize, or you may have noticed that you can't use all three terabytes and you're only able to use two. I'm going to show you how to fix that. So to show you what I'm talking about. Um, oops. Go into computer management, disk management, and right here where it shows your disk of your hard drive, um, it'll show the amount that you are using, which should be about two terabytes, and then this will be a separate. Um, well, well, it'll be over here, and it'll be unallocated and logical. You won't be able to do anything with it which means if you click on it to change it into a volume, you won't be able to do anything. These will all be grayed out instead of highlighted like that. But I fixed this, and I'm going to show you how to do that. OK, so go to Seagate.com, and you're going to need to download their disk wizard. They don't exactly advertise that you have to do this, and I feel as though they should but I was able to locate the directions to do this on a uh, comment actually on eBay so I'm going to pass that information along to you in case you're stuck I was actually considering buying another hard drive and it would have been a pain in the ass so anyways go to I accept install it um, normal stuff you know uh, after you click download it'll come down here open uh, run install everything along those lines I think that's enough tutorial on that. Um, and then open your disk wizard. And it will pop up looking something like this. OK, so now that you have your disk wizard open, which I do not, uh -huh. anyone would like to respond with a tutorial on getting a better video recorder be my guest so anyways click on this right here uh, below this is either going to say it's either going to say allocate it when you click on it or you might need to right click it I don't remember um, but allocate that drive it'll show you a loading bar it'll take a little while but at this point you're basically home free it'll be allocated you know how to um, use that from that point on then you're good if you don't Go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Computer Management, Disk Management. Um, and now it will look something along these lines, except for that this will be um, not a primary partition, and it won't be a drive yet. It will just say Allocated Space. OK, so right click. This menu will pop up. Click New Simple Volume. I don't know what the other volumes do, span, striped. I believe they have something to do with memory, um, like speeds or something along those lines. You can Google it. So anyways, so do that. Um, it'll turn it into a volume. Click Change Drive Letters and Paths. Click Add. I used G because L did not work. And I was told that X and Y you shouldn't use because they can uh, conflict with other software and hardware that might need to use those in the future. So after you do that, it'll ask you if you want to do a quick uh, format. Click No, uncheck that box, so that you do a regular format. Um, that'll prevent any kind of errors or anything like that in the future. Uh, this will take a few. This will take a while, but at that point you're done. I have this. See, two functioning drives, 746, two terabytes, and I think that's just great.